Hello and welcome to this short video about Jaguar XK8 fitting component woofer speakers. This is video 89 in my series of XK8 videos and this part of the video I'm going to show you how I fitted the budget component woofer speakers as part of the component set with the standard head unit I've got and without any additional amplification. This is a part, uh, it's the third part in a series of videos showing how I um, uh, fitted the various bits of the component speakers. In the first video 87 I went through why I chose component speakers and actually removing the old speakers. Video 88 fitting the tweeter and the crossover and now in video 89 I'm going to explain section 5 fitting the woofer speaker and in particular the fixings and the foam. If you're watching this video you're probably interested in Jaguar XK or Jaguar XKRs x100 if you are might I su suggest you subscribe to my channel by pressing the rectangular red subscribe button with subscribe written on it clicking the bell to be reminded when videos are aired and click the thumbs up if you like the video or thumbs down if you don't and if you have any questions or comments and uh, please ask them in the comment section below the video okay then fitting the woofer and in particular the new fixing positions so the speakers I chose, or the woofer element of the speaker system I chose, is actually 165mm. The OEM speakers are 160 So you can see here the OEM fixings don't actually fit or don't actually match to the holes. Plus the speaker uh, fouls slightly on the, um, the surround, doesn't fit completely flush. Oops, sorry, the, the mesh grill fell out there. It's only loose fitting there just to try and protect the speaker and its uh, new foam. The housing and the backing part numbers are there if you need them. So just to run through, the OEM speaker is the diameter 160mm, the magnets are 70mm diameter and the depth is roughly 70mm and they're roughly 20 RMS rated. Um, my car as the base uh, audio system had the Philips triple cone speakers AJA 4141AA and they are available about £35 each second hand on eBay. The woofer component within the component speakers I, I purchased is actually a diameter of 165mm, 5mm bigger, hence why the holes don't line up. The diameter of the magnet is slightly bigger and the depth is, is roughly the same, albeit 65mm, but the RMS is slightly higher uh, at 40 now those were Vibe um, Pulse component woofer speakers and the whole set including the tweet and the crossovers, £36 on eBay in 2021, 20. Um, so they're, they're, it's the budget end component speaker. But being a little bit larger, the existing fixings wouldn't match up. So I'm looking, I looked at uh, some new positions. At the bottom of the speaker there's quite a nice flange um, that enables the clips that come along with the new speakers to be fitted so they, they, they look like a good position there's three fixings on the oem speaker 120 degrees so i decided to basically do something similar albeit upside down so three fixing 120 degrees using the large flanges at the bottom to enable the clips to be Put on the outside and possibly at the top there's a large flange but it's internal so i looked at putting that on there like that so give that a go with the speaker and lo and behold it's not a, a bad there's lots of holes around these um aftermarket speakers for various fitments and you can see that's going to work that's going to be some bit like fit so I just need to get the clip spaced out correctly Roughly 120 degrees, probably not perfect. You see, that's going to work. The top clip fitment isn't as good, so I need to have another look at that. The clips themselves, they actually came with the um, the new speakers. They're actually a lot larger, a lot more substantial. If you don't get any with your speak new speaker set, if you just speak, uh, search on the internet using spring steel U clip nut you'll get something very, very similar pop up. Very easy and cheap to purchase. 
So now checking the clip positions, 120 degrees roughly offset. Two at the bottom line up perfectly. The one at the top isn't going to work as I had the clip located. So I have to rethink that. Drilling the diamond, the clearance holes then. I started off with a two millimeter pilot drill. Popped the holes in like that. I then checked the pilot holes. I chose a higher position for the top, which I'll explain why in a moment. I then actually drilled a bigger diameter, four millimeter clearance holes in the three positions. I used the speaker screws with a smaller head that came along with this, the new speakers because the OEM ones, the heads are a lot larger and the rims around the new speakers were, were quite tight to the screw head. And so the new uh, screws are a better fit. So now putting the spring clips in position, with the new holes around the edge of the, the housing. For those who like keeping everything OEM, it's, it's only a few holes in the mounting. I can put it back to OEM if I have to. Here I'll put the second one. It's not as bad as what I did with the tweeter. Just the top one now. Obviously the clip wouldn't go on the inside. So I'm, what I'm thinking of doing is putting the, the actual clip all together on the inside just using it as a captive nut as it were we'll see how we get on with that in a moment so i've screwed the two bottom fixing in they're, they're quite straightforward the top one now um, i'll put the screw in first and then i'll try and get the cap the uh, spring clip on the back as a separate item it's easy to do this you can see how the um, the screw heads being smaller helps. We'll come back to that in a moment. So where's the spring clip? It's around here somewhere. Where's it disappeared to? Oh, there you go. So what I'm going to do is just screw this on the back of that screw to get it started. The screw is binding on the hole, but it is a clearance hole in the plastic surround. So we'll get that started. And then I'll put the mesh grill back on just to keep it protected. And I'll screw screw that on. You can see the screw head I spoke about earlier that the rim of the speaker is quite tight to that screw head. Obviously the OEM ones wouldn't work at all. It's tying up quite well. I got no problems with this being retained in the car. There you go. So that's that spring clip holding that screw in. There you go. Take the mesh off of it. So you can just see there the three screws are all in. It's not quite flush yet. I can tighten them down a little bit more, possibly. Give that a bit more of a tweak. Tighten it up a bit more. There you go. Make sure that I'm not going to rattle out as I'm going along the road. There you go. You can see it's not quite flush, flush meat mounting into the, the housing, but it, it's quite good. It's not going anywhere, and it's quite a tight fit. Then once that's done, simply uh, connected the speaker back up to the wiring loom I fitted in the other video. Uh, then looking to fit the speaker back in the assembly with its uh, the mounting bracket for the door inner. There's two sorts of, uh, of bolt there. There's a, the, the shorter ones are 10 millimeter M8 by 10. The longer ones are M8 by 16. And the longer bolts are the ones used for the uh, the metal bracket. And the smaller ones are the shorter one. Uh, the, the smaller shorter ones are used at the bottom of the speaker. You simply then push the speaker into the housing and then use an 8mm socket to tighten up, uh, put the bolts in and tighten them up. Obviously the uh, longer bolts at the top for the metal bracket. And there you go, the right hand speaker fitted to the housing. I've uh, took the 
tuck the wiring in. Yeah, all that is fitted, everything ready to rock and roll. Um, section uh, five then fitting the woofer foam. Um, previously, the speaker foam I, I'd, I'd used and actually transferred onto the JVC uh, budget uh, two-way speakers, the original foam, that, that worked quite well. But because these speakers are now 65 millimeter instead of 60 millimeter diameter, I need an extra 15 millimeters of foam. So actually, this was the old foam I'd used previously. I got some similar foam, or I thought it was similar, but it turned out to be a bit more like rubber than foam, to be honest. I purchased off uh, the internet. 12 and a half by 12 and a half square foam or a half inch by half inch section. But it's quite dense foam. You can see the uh, the density there. It will compress, but it's not easy. It was got, it's already self-adhesive backed. So I think I'll give that a go to um, replace the subform foam surround to give a good uh, mating to the uh, speaker grills. Here's what I bought off the internet. I actually bought for 4.8 meters. It was seven pounds, so it was quite expensive, but I got um, uh, 4.8 meters of it. It's going to use it for lots of other stuff, which sort of uh, helps. Uh, I, you do need about a half a meter, 520 millimeters per speaker uh, to go around that uh, the, the, the outside. So fitting the foam, this is me fitting the foam to the left hand speaker, basically it's peel a bit of the self adhesive off. Apologies, trying to do this single handedly. And it, it's not the best fitment, to be honest. It's slightly uneven. There's not enough flange to actually sit it uh, down flat. Just work the way around. Around the outside, bit by bit, until I get it all the way around and chopped off the the extra bit on the end it, it's starting to look a lot better when it's assembled it looks something like this I'll say it looks a lot better in situ than it did as it was going on and hopefully that will match up quite well to the speaker grill So there you go, speakers are ready and for refitting the door cards, which I've covered in uh, video 77. And finally, what do they sound like? So I'm going to give them a, a, a test and uh, that will be in video 90, uh, budget component speakers, best question mark. There you go. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you find that useful if you're trying to fit uh, some uh, component woofer speakers or speakers that are slightly larger particularly 165 millimeter diameter speakers please like comment share and subscribe if you'd like to see more xk videos